Hello and welcome to Creative Nerds. Today I've got a quick tip to show you on how to use Illustrator to create a seamless pattern utilising the new pattern tool available in Illustrator CS6. So let's jump straight into it. So we've downloaded these vector pattern elements from shutterstock.com but any other pattern elements will do the trick just as well. So we're simply just going to grab these vector elements and just arrange it in the middle of the canvas and arrange it how we would like the pattern to be repeated. So we're just going to simply arrange it in the middle of the canvas. We want the elements to be various sizes because if you notice within a seamless pattern, the elements aren't always a consistent size, usually in smaller and larger sizes, the elements within the pattern. So we're just going to follow that popular trend. A great trick when working, working with graphics in Illustrator, if you select shift and grab from the corner anchor point and to make smaller or larger, it always keeps the same size and doesn't look disorientated. It's a great little trick when working with graphics and you want to keep the same the size consistent to the original. Once you're happy with the vector elements, with the size and the arrangement, just simply select all the elements and then head over to object, pattern, make and we want to ensure the tiling type is grid. Now the pattern is seamless and looks perfect already but if you're still not happy with it just grab, press ctrl c, paste and just fill in some of those blank spaces. just to make the pattern look a little more complete and less emptiness within the spaces. So we can do it a few more times, repeat the same process, make it slightly smaller and just simply fill in those white, sp fill in those white spaces. Once you're happy with how the pattern looks, simply double click anywhere on the canvas. Now delete the vector elements and Illustrator automatically creates a pattern swatch for it. So we're going to grab the square tool, just draw out a nice big square in the middle of the canvas, and then we're going to select the swatch, which is automatically generated from the pattern tool. So there you go, a seamless vector pattern. Took less than a few minutes to achieve. I hope you've enjoyed this technique, and I hope it gives you an idea on how you can utilize this feature in Illustrator to create patterns of your own. Hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Crave Nurse for further quick tips.